For my Course 5 final project, I redesigned a second grade social studies unit. The title of the unit is Farm to Table. The unit covers the basics of economic trade and how goods and services are delivered. The enduring understanding for the unit is that decisions concerning the allocation and ec use of economic resources impact individuals and groups. I'm the elementary school technology specialist and I was able to work with each of the second grade classrooms to experience this unit in approximately 12 sessions following roughly an every other day approach. I was able to keep the enduring understanding and essential questions as they were from previous years. The summative assessment remained relatively unchanged as well. I chose to use the program Minecraft to simulate a world where students would participate firsthand and experience the essential questions rather than traditional methods of text, discussion, and viewing video resources. Minecraft is already a popular pastime for many of the students, so the kids were excited to get started. The version of Minecraft we used is called Minecraft EDU, and it offers additional tools that allowed me to construct and control the world in ways that were necessary to gu guide the students to the desired outcome. I'm going to be in here to help you and your teacher through this unit. We're going to be using the computers and we're going to use a program called Minecraft to learn all about I this. Do it. I do it. I do it. Selling, we were buying, we were working, and we also took care of our own needs and wants. Students entered the world where shelter and food was readily available. We farm stuff like potato potatoes, carrots, wheat, cocoa beans, pumpkins, melon, and then we're going down to selling by. Selling, um, we sell that, um, those things at the sell, at the farmer's market. We spend our money for needs and like if you want something, want is like I want a, a, I want a teddy bear, and you don't really need this in your life. And um, and spending money, you you could save money until you get how much money for how much like the te the teddy bear is like cost a hundred, and I need fifty more. So I need to like save my money till I get money to get that teddy bear. Um, we had to go to the store and buy stuff and um, trade stuff for other things to get money to do to do our needs and our wants. Like if you get wheat from the farm you can trade farm. You can trade the wheat and then they would give you money. If you don't have money, you can't buy anything. Some of the 
students found that there were some advantages to understanding the values of items in the stores. For example, selling bread to a buyer was more valuable than simply selling just the wheat that was used to make it. Others discovered that spending three sessions of riding horses really put them behind the other students that were moving on to fully experience the benefits of working and saving, buying and selling to go beyond the basics of the experience. that to her then you would get a um, money and then you could save that money and then spend it on something you really 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 wanted project reaffirmed my understanding that if you can connect abstract concepts to real-world scenarios and then allow students to live out those experience or scenarios, engagement will be extremely high and the learning and understanding will surely follow. The outcome definitely met our goals. As always, there are ways we plan to improve the delivery of the unit in the future. The biggest takeaway is that there's a great potential for more student reflection to take place. During that reflection, they could be posting their experiences to the web blogs and journaling their examples of instances that illustrated the unit's essential questions that were relevant for that day. Prompts like, how are you a producer today? And were you able to satisfy a want today? If so, how did you achieve that goal? We learned and we saved money to buy our own lands. It also helped me like learn wants and needs and wants and needs are just things you need and wants are just things that you really want but you don't need it to survive. Just like a horse in Minecraft is just something you want like for a stable or something but you need stuff you need money from working to s selling and buy stuff I was impressed by the way some of the students quickly started bartering with others to provide services in most cases, it was a very cooperative world, with many small groups of students working together and combining their resources and talents. My job was like to build the house, and and Ruzan, Mike, Rosanna, and Bune, they were getting money for me. As time went on. We introduced the necessity of taxes to provide for public works. Students paid taxes to fund the construction of an art museum. Another outcome that was anticipated was experience too. Greed and widespread famine. Students entered the game fully satisfied with nourishment and bountiful fields ripe for harvest, but it didn't take long for the crops to become fully harvested with little planting for the future taking place. The world was able to continue though, and they survived because of the ability to make trades of goods and services to purchase food and not only rely on farming. Now that my Course 5 project is complete, I'm planning to post this world to Minecraft EDU's World Library along with the supporting lesson documents. 
It will still take some effort for another teacher to make this work in their classroom, but understanding the workings of Minecraft EDU can bring to light other areas of the curriculum that can benefit from a lesson or a unit like this.